making some launch day orders. Uh, my son is napping. I have the baby monitor plugged in down below. Um, and I'm going to pack some labels. And drink my seltzer. Hi. All right. I am packing orders. Um, I'm about to print some labels. And my son is napping. Yay for naps. Hi. All right. I'm about to pack some orders. Um, these are all from yesterday, from launch day. So I'm printing, I think, 25-ish. Let's see. Yeah, 25. Hi, welcome. If you are just joining, let me know what you're wearing on your nails. I always like to know. I'm wearing fairy. I love it. I wore it to the gym this morning. I told my, my partner at the gym that I uh, felt like a fairy princess, which is definitely true. Um, okay, I'm gonna print some labels. pack like 25 of the orders from yesterday from launch day um, and I'm so excited we go 25 orders printed um, I'm very excited to start packing I also have um, I did a Q&A in my stories yesterday I put up a little box and then uh, I never came back to answer the questions so I wrote them down I'm gonna answer some of them while I pack orders a little multitasking if you will and drink seltzer so quadruple taxing maybe Hi. Thanks for joining. Um, okay, I think these are 25, I said. I've said that like six times, but I'm going to separate them. Some of these might be um, not launch orders. Because a couple came in during the day yesterday. Hi. And before I pack, I need to label some wild because I ran out yesterday. So I'm going to label some wild boxes here. going to answer some questions. I'm going to post the replay here so that if um, people miss live, they can come catch the questions answered on the replay. Uh, but I'm going to yeah, start asking. So a couple people asked um, 
if there's going to be a volume two because I said that this is fantasy volume one and the answer is yes. Um, I actually split this collection over two seasons. So I've done it in the past where I've split a collection over multiple years. So I've like revisited a collection. So we had like Flora for the spring for two years. Um, this is going to be a little different. I split it over winter and fall. Um, so fall this year is volume one and winter is going to be volume two, which I'm really excited about. Um, yeah, I had never done that before. So I had never um, done two seasons like that before. Like I'd never done um, the same kind of idea or theme split across two seasons. And I'm so excited for it. Um, I really, it felt like a fun, I don't know, way to challenge myself to design a collection. Um, you know, cause I wanted the colors to all work together as a cohesive, like full collection, but also wanted to lean into, um, you know, the, I don't know, the spirit of the different seasons, right? I don't want winter to feel like a fall collection or vice versa. Um, and also just was fun to think about like two sides of one theme, you know, just think about one theme in a different lens. So um, that yeah, has been really fun for me. So the winter collection this year will be... Um, Oh, that's my favorite. <laughs> um, the winter collection will be um, volume two. So it'll also be fantasy, but um, the palette is very different from this palette. Um, it doesn't, it works with the fall collection, but it looks like a winter collection. So really excited about it. Um, another question that I got from a couple people in my stories yesterday was, um, are there any semi-retired shades coming back? And the answer is yes with an asterisk. Um, so I haven't promoted this too much because I was a little frustrated with myself, honestly, that they're not here yet. So I do have three colors that are coming back from retirement this fall. Um, Calla Lily is available right now to ship. You can grab it with your order and it will ship. Um, Current and Jostler. Current and Jostler are coming back. They are back. They were supposed to be here for this launch. Um, but they're in transit. They are stuck. They're taking a while, but they're here. Um, or they will be here. And so these are on pre-order right now. So you can, um, pre-order these. And then it just means that I'll ship your order next week instead of this week. Um, I really don't even think it'll be that much of a delay. Um, given that my time frame is three to five days, but I didn't want to make any promises I couldn't keep. So, um, these three are coming back from retirement, current and Jostler are on pre-order. Calla is available now. Um, and I will, yeah, I will talk more about that once they're like fully up on the site. So I appreciated, um, I think two people asked that question and I had not talked about it because I <laughs> was annoyed at myself, honestly. Um, but I'll talk more about those colors once they're officially here. I'm very excited. some orders um okay so like I said most of these are launch day orders from yesterday a couple are orders that came in earlier in the day before launch so hi welcome if you're just joining let me know what color is on your nails because I always like to hear um I like to get some inspiration from folks I'm wearing fairy which just launched in this collection and I love it I love it so much okay so we have Amanda. Oh, she lives really close. She'll probably get her order like on Saturday. Uh, she got Chosen and Maggie. <gasps> Chosen and Maggie. Two great choices. Amanda. Um, Leah grabbed the whole collection. Let's see. Um, Majorine grabbed the whole collection and Ginger. Oh, I think she messaged me about this. 
think she made the right choice. Ginger is a good addition to this. Hi, Heidi. Oh, I think we just saw it flip over. <laughs> so fun. Yay. Which one are you going to put on um, first? I'm so curious. When you get your order, what are you going to wear first? New colors. Yeah, get them on. Hey, Laurie, how are you? Okay, somebody else. Let's see. This is um, Tracy. Tracy grabbed the whole all five. I just love how these look together. Um, it feels like such a different vibe. Fairy or magic? Yep, nice. I am loving wearing fairy this week. I was at the gym this morning and I told, you know, the, my partner, the person I was doing my workout with, um, that I felt like a fairy princess. I was like, they just like, in the gym lights, they were really sparkly. It was great. Hey. All right, so we are gonna pack these up. Gotta make some space here. Okay, so I, um, I'm using my backup boxes in my summer sale this summer, which was back in July. Um, I sold out, like ran out of my boxes that I had before that were like white and purple polka dots. They were so cute, um, which was fine because I've been working on a new version of my box. It's just slightly updated. It's a little more, it's like cleaner. There's fewer things on it. Um, and the colors are slightly different because I changed my palette last year. Um, and these boxes, y'all, I they were supposed to be here September 1st, so in plenty of time for lunch. And then they were supposed to be here September, whatever last Monday was, and then this Monday. So some of these orders are going to go out in these boxes, but once my new boxes get here, I'll switch over to them. And I just think they're so cute. This is a sample. It's obviously too small, but this is just the sample that we approved. So I think it's super cute. Hi. Okay, my favorite question is, let me know what's on your nails. If you're watching, let me know what you're wearing. You can just describe it to us. You can tell us the name of the color, whatever you want. But these backup boxes are like, a, they're a throwback. These were some of my first ones. Um, they weren't my first, first packaging, but I did use these for probably a year. Hi, Madeline. I saw your comment um, on my video and I was like, wow, what a throwback. I think that was you. I'm assuming it was you. Nice to see you. Okay, so I'm also, I'm packing orders, but I'm going to also try to answer some of the questions that came in my stories. I put up a question box yesterday. Um, and so I'm going to answer some of those. We already talked about um, a volume two. We talked about semi-retired colors that are back right now. Two different mayonnaise. I, that's that's the life of a swatcher, I think. <laughs> um, okay, and then somebody asked a question that I love. I don't think anybody's ever asked me this question before, which was, which color in this collection makes me feel the most confident? Um, which is such a great color. I feel like people ask my favorite color or, you know, pick one if you have to, but nobody's ever asked me before, which one makes me feel the most confident? And I had to think about this. Um, and I think my answer is Dracaris because this is just so fiery and gorgeous and bold. And when I wear this one, um, yeah, it makes me feel like a badass, honestly. <laughs> so I love that question and I love this polish. Um, and I think that's my answer. Yeah. Which makes me think maybe I do need a real red if I love this one so much. Um, maybe there's like a whole hidden side of me that loves red nail polish and just didn't know it. Uh, but yeah, that one I love and I love that question. Um, I, when I first got the samples of Fairy, I thought it might've been like too pink for me cause I'm not a huge pink fan. Those of you who've been here for a while know that. Um, but I love it. I actually, I think it's so gorgeous. I love the glow. Um, I'll be honest, it wasn't exactly what I pictured in my head when I, um, you know, tried to describe the sample that I wanted, but I love it. So no, no complaints there. Yes, it's 
so good. It looks so good on you, Lauren. I love it. All right, so we're packing up like the first 25 orders that came in yesterday or so, something. I think we're almost at 100 orders since launch. Um, we're at like 90, when I checked before, it was like 96 or something, I think, or 92 maybe. Um, so we'll see. I had um, a very happy um, experience this morning where I got um, like locked out of my support inbox, my customer support inbox. Um, I tried to log in for my iPad last night and it didn't like that. And so I got locked out. And so this morning I fixed that, I got it resolved. I was able to log in. And when I pulled up my inbox, I had like eight in emails, which maybe doesn't sound like that many, but you know, for having only had the collection launched for less than like 12 hours at that point, um, I was like, oh shit, eight emails is a lot. <laughs> Um, I try to check before I ship orders to make sure like nobody's address needs to be changed or nobody like needs to cancel their order or whatever. Um, but I just was like not expecting eight emails. And then when I looked at the emails, they were all, oh my gosh, I, I actually cried, um, <laughs> teared up. They were all responses from returning customers to, um, the, the thank you email that goes out after you place an order as a returning customer. Um, and so many of them were just like so sweet. <laughs> so I, do, I don't expect a response when that email goes out. Um, and so the fact that I got to wake up to eight of them today was just like, oh, made my day, made my day. Okay, uh, let's see, you just placed your order. Yay, oh good. Which one do you wanna put on first, Madeline, once they get to you, let me know. Uh, oh, I don't know. I don't know. Um, we'll find out, <laughs> Rebecca, we'll find out. Um, when I print the labels, it's kind of a like mass process. I don't see them all yet, but we're just getting started. So we'll find out. I want to say all of these were placed by like 6.15 yesterday. So maybe that'll help. Yes, Madeline, you're going to love it. It's literal fire in all of the meanings of that word. I'm trying not to be too disheartened by the fact that my new updated box design is not here yet, but I think people will survive. Um, I will survive, but it just bums me out because they're so cute. They're so cute. They're going to be so cute. This is a, you know, like paper sample, but the real ones are going to be so cute. So, and then I'm never updating my packaging again because it took, it took forever. <laughs> it took forever. Um, so I'm just going to have these for the rest of my life. Yes. Okay, if you just joined us and you haven't told us yet, let us know what is on your nails because I always like to hear what people are wearing. You can just describe the color to us or you can tell us what it's called, whatever you prefer. All right, let's see, what other, okay, so we talked about, I'm trying to answer questions from my stories question box yesterday. Um, Okay, somebody did ask, the, or several people asked, the, like, which one is your favorite, or if you had to pick just one from the collection. And I refuse to answer that question, so I'm going to kind of answer the question. Um, if I had to pick one cream, I would pick Dracaris. This is a delightful. Yeah. And then... Um, if I had to pick one shimmer, I would pick Chosen. I love Fairy. I'm loving wearing it, but I would pick Chosen, I think. So if I had to pick one of each, that's what I would do. Naked, uh-oh. Gotta get those, gotta get that fixed. But I, I get it. <laughs> I get it. Maybe tonight. I know this may be asking a lot, but is there any way you can get a list of all my ones? Oh. Um, yeah. I... I actually think that might be fairly easy for me to, um, for me to put together because like I have a list, so I would just need to go through and make sure that I have all the like, I don't know that I have the names of the collections necessarily. Um, yeah, Madeline, um, can you send me an email, 
or yeah, I was gonna say a DM, but a DM will get lost. <laughs> if you don't mind sending me an email, then I'm happy to, I can happily, happily send that over to you. Um, it might take me a couple days, but um, yes, you can send it to um, my support inbox, which is like, I think you said you placed an order this morning. You can just re literally reply to that email um, and it'll go to my, it'll go to my inbox. Yeah, happy to do that. Yeah, I, Chosen is really fun. Um, Chosen is really fun, in my opinion. Obviously, I'm, you know, I have some bias <laughs> to, towards them all, um, but I really like them. I also really like that this collection is five pieces. I feel like it fits better in here. Um, I don't know. We'll see. I like it. Um, so if you missed the beginning, one, one, the biggest question that I got in my stories yesterday uh, was, will there be a volume two? Because this one is volume one. And the answer is yes. Um, this collection is split over two seasons. So fall and winter um, are both fantasy. And my hope is that they like fit together, but also, you know, represent the different seasons that they're in. So I, I really enjoyed designing a collection that way. It was the first time that I had done that. Um, and it felt really fun. And I was honestly feeling kind of in a, like a little bit of a rut creatively. Um, and I think this like just felt, it felt fresh and new and I was, re I'm really excited about it. <laughs> it's been really fun. Um, I have a different idea for how to change the way I think about collections next year, but, um, not, radically change, but from the design perspective change. Um, and so it's been fun. This was a fun way to kind of break out of my mold a little bit. Um, but I think it still feels very much like me, right? We have like three really good creams, a couple shimmers and like finishes that I've already done before. So it feels, it feels like me while also feeling like I was breaking out a little bit. So it's been really fun. Okay. I was nervous that um, I had too many purples in this collection, but I've seen so many orders that look like this. It's just the three purples. Uh, so that tells me that it was fine. Everybody's fine with that many purples. Yeah. Okay, we have a bundle going to Sandra, I think. Sandra is in North Carolina, and I'm pretty sure, I think this might be like her 22nd order or something. She has um, been ordering since the beginning, and I'm pretty sure you used to watch my YouTube channel before this even launched. So thank you, Sandra. Laura also got a bundle. There we go. Um, okay, if you're just joining us and you haven't told us yet, let me know what you're wearing on your nails. You can describe the color, tell us what it's called, whatever you want. I am packing like the first 25 orders, maybe 26, something, so around 25 from yesterday. And I'm going to need to stop and fold some boxes here in a second. Usually I prep like 500 boxes before our collection launches, but um, because I thought that my new boxes were going to get here, I didn't, you know, prep so many, so that's okay. They'll be here soon. So we're going to fold some now. You're so intrigued. Yeah, yeah, vampy and delish. It's like definitely moodier. You know, this one's kind of more like bright and magical, and I would say winter is like deeper and moodier, um, like darker, you know, like the darker side of fantasy. Um, I think it's really, it still feels like, I don't know, it still feels connected. So I really enjoy it. Yeah. I think you're going to love it. And it was fun. And as of right now, I'm not planning on doing next year, any that span multiple, co multiple collections, but, um, you know, who knows? Things change. <laughs> Things change. Yes. Alright, I'm gonna prep these boxes. I'm just folding boxes here. Somebody um, once asked me if I had any advice for, you know, if somebody was starting a 
nail polish company and I said that you should like try to fold 500 boxes a week for a couple weeks and make sure you still like it uh, because that's like going to be your life for a while. <laughs> so I mean maybe people ship other ways but whatever your packaging is you got to do it like 500 times a week and make sure you still enjoy what you're doing. Um, okay, what is the other, let's see, so I answered, I talked about volume two, um, we do have some semi-retired colors that came back, I talked about that, um, if you're watching and you missed that and you want me to talk about it again, I can, but then the last question that I don't think I've answered yet was about um, what my inspiration was behind this collection, and I'll try and say it here, but I just posted a post this morning that I feel like is a little more eloquent, you know, I like sat down and wrote it out, so um there's, I just shared that this morning a little bit more in detail, so you can feel free to go check out that post, but, um, you know, I, I say that All About Polish is all about finding, like, your self-care moment, your colorful self-care moment, um, because that's what nail polish is for me very much, um, and I think over the last year or so, I've really been thinking about, like, what, what else feels like self-care to me, because, um, there is part of this that now that it feels like my job, um, it's not as relaxing. I'm like, I need to put on this color because I need to get a content for, with it. Um, you know, it's just different than it used to be. So I've really been trying to think about what other ways can I find self-care moments during the day. Um, and I think one of the big things that I came back to was that for me, self-care is any time when I can be immersed in something or lost in something. Um, it's like I'm focused on something else. So my brain is like letting go of the things that it was spinning on all day, right? Um, which nail polish, like painting my nails very much is for me, right? I sit down, I paint my nails, I'm like focused on what I'm doing. I can't really get up and do other things because my nails are wet. Um, and one of the other things that has always felt like that kind of immersion for me is um, fantasy stories, whether that's like reading a fantasy book or watching a fantasy TV show. Uh, and so that was kind of how I landed on this collection. Yeah. Hey. Okay. I, um, missed something else. I know these old boxes. They're such a, such a throwback. Um, I love them too, but they are a little bit bigger than my custom boxes because they're obviously made just to fit my polishes like specifically. Um, and so they take up more space, which is annoying. Um, and they don't come in smaller sizes unless I want to order, like, an absurd number. Um, yeah, and I really like that my new boxes have, like, a little window. I mean, this is just a sample, but it has a little window where you can see the color. So there's benefits. There's pros and cons to both. Yeah. Hi, Emily. Hi. All right. Filling this up here. Okay, I feel like that was kind of a long-winded explanation, but that's the inspiration. If you want to see it written, I just posted it this morning. Maybe that's easier to digest. When I first, first launched, like, before I even had my website open, when I was just fulfilling Kickstarter orders, and then maybe for my first collection, um, I rolled every single bottle that I shipped in uh, tissue paper to protect it, like, thick tissue paper, and then had some padding in the box. Um, and my mom would come and help me on launch days. And I mean, folding boxes feels like it takes a long time, but rolling every single bottle in tissue paper took like, I don't know, I, I don't, it was a really long time. Um, so we quickly had to pivot from that, um, packaging solution, but if you got some bottles wrapped in tissue paper, um, that's going to feel like a real throwback. That was a long time ago. And I would like cut the tissue paper um, into pieces and then roll. It just took forever. Yeah. So boxes are much more efficient. Even if you have to wait a long time for them to get delivered. Yeah. <laughs> yep. I'm sure they were kind of fun to open maybe, but they took forever to pack. Yeah. And then I transitioned to these boxes, um, and used these for a while, like maybe a whole year. Um, and then got some custom boxes. And now we're 
getting a, a little upgrade to the packaging. love to get out like the first 50 orders in the mail tomorrow um we'll see it honestly depends on how long my son naps for so we shall see this is a very classic like fall experience in new england uh, like early fall where this morning it was so chilly, I like wore my sweatshirt to the gym and I was cold and then now I'm like sweating. It's, it's hot in the middle of the day. It's a very classic, classic fall. Hello. If you already placed your order, let us know what you grabbed. Or if you didn't place your order, let us know what's on your wish list, which one you're hoping for in the future. Bye, Madeline. So nice seeing you, or, you know, seeing you here. <laughs> Sprinkling in California. We had a little bit of sprinkling too. Mid nineties. Yeah. I think, I don't think we're mid nineties, but it feels, I think it's humid today. I feel hot, but it's okay. Not complaining. I'm still going to wear my sweater. But it's kind of raining here too. Um, I was going to take my son to the zoo. There's a zoo like right by our house. Um, and so we have a membership. We like to go just walk around. It's like 10 minutes away so we can go for like an hour, which is awesome. Um, but it's raining, so we're probably not going to do that. So I don't know what we're going to do this afternoon. Let's see. Here we go. Thanks so much. I'm excited for you to get your order too. It is coming. Let's put these all up. Hi. It's kind of a satisfying sound, this like ripping sound. I kind of like it. Okay, we're going to throw this away. And here we go. Chosen. Okay, so this friend grabbed Chosen. I think this one might be the best seller. Um, I don't call it until like a week from now, but um, I think that one might be the best seller. We'll see. Okay, and then this one is a collection set going to, oh, Rebecca, if you're still here, this is yours. Yes. Yeah, exactly. ASMR. Um, Rebecca, this is yours if, um, if you're still here. If not, it'll be a fun surprise. Okay, this person grabbed the collection and a mystery polish. And I've been mixing up what the mystery polish is. So um, that's it. I added that to my site a couple weeks ago, maybe maybe a month ago. Um, it pops up once you once you once you trigger it, once you add something to your cart, um, and so you get something a surprise. Okay, let's see. Maggie Forest chosen. This is a fun combo. I feel like they've got so many different moments um, covered here. They have some like classics, a little Druzzy is a neutral, 
It's a nice, it's a nice spread. I always love to see how people combine things. Lucky. Chosen. The cars. Forest. Very mangy. Fun. Okay. Yeah, it's a, uh, I just, I was inspired by, I have another friend who's a business owner and they do something not exactly the same, but something similar. Um, and I thought that would be fun. I think it's fun. sleeping soundly and it's 1 40 eastern time hopefully he sleeps till like 2 30 that's my dream i'm almost done with these first 25 which is so exciting It's a good, I wore it to, uh, my brother got married in August. Lauren says that she might wear jersey next week. Um, I wore it, my brother got married in August and I wore it on my nails. Uh, and I loved it. I loved it. I, when I saw the photos from their wedding, I was like, oh, my nails look really good. <laughs> I felt like it looked great. My dress was this kind of like sage green kind of, um, I was a bridesmaid. So that was the color that my sister-in-law chose um and I feel like they went really well together so yeah I think you're gonna love it I also it had been a while since I had worn it too so this one so good to have this stack get smaller stack of orders one two three four five six great I love launch days because usually I feel like the people who you know come by right at the launch time are usually people who have been our return customers who I recognize um and so it's so fun to pack orders and recognize people's names like Andrea in Connecticut definitely definitely sent Andrea some colorful packages before can't wait to ship you your order. I wonder, I don't remember all of the orders that I'm packing right now. I think they were placed by like 6.15, so yours might be coming up. Um, I can't remember. Okay, Rebecca, I just gave you a little gift if you're still here. Thanks for watching.
box that I'm putting packed orders in here. The green one, oh, that's a good choice. Forest. So lovely. You're gonna you're gonna love it. I um I have you know now worn this collection pretty much nonstop for the last I don't know two or three weeks, maybe even more than that. Um and so now I need to get on the rest of my fall colors, and greens are the ones that I really want to get on. So um I'm gonna put on emerald next, I think. I'm really excited. But we'll see. Okay, perfect. Glad Rebecca got some nourishing base coat on her nails. Okay, this is another collection bundle going to Megan. Oh my gosh, okay. I used to work with Megan. Um, and every time I see her name, it just makes me, it's so sweet. <laughs> it's very sweet. Yep. Okay, there we go. And then we have Pebble Scintillate. Pebble Scintillate and Chosen. What a killer combo. Oh, look at that. Pebble, Chosen, and Scintillate. I'm obsessed. That's a great order. Going to Kristen in Chicago. Well done, Kristen in Chicago. Okay, and a bundle. Going to Monique. Oh, this is Tracy. Two Chosen, two Forest. So good. Hey. childcare days this week are um Monday or Wednesday and Friday so I had childcare yesterday um and I have childcare tomorrow and um I tomorrow I'm gonna mostly just pack orders to try to get as many out as I can from the launch but um I'm trying to start doing some 2025 planning tomorrow um because I really yeah, I really need to get started on that, so I'm excited. It'll be good to, like, get some planning done, pack some orders, you know, take a little brain break, get some more planning done. It'll be good. I think it's going to be a good day. So if there's anything you want to see in 2025, now's a good time to let me know as I build out my plans here. to pause yep <laughs> okay he's not he's not crying he's not making any noise yet so we'll see um okay i think i missed some is the pause too easily um i usually wear mine for like four or five days um and then i can get more if i you know put another coat of top coat on or something but i'll let other people who are watching chime in if they want to more formulas like fairy, copper shimmer topper. Okay, all right, all right, I hear you. Let's see if he'll go back to sleep. He did not sleep for very long. This is the game. I feel like it's um, 
you know, now is the, I only wear my brand, um, but I used to wear a lot and it feels very comparable to me to, um, most of the like quality I'll say, not, not like, you know, drugstore $2 a bottle of polish, but, um, to anything else in a similar price range. Yeah. Yeah, totally. Rebecca, I totally agree. Um, all right, it looks like he's he's up. Okay, well we didn't get fifty, but we got twenty five. Um, so we'll take it. That's pretty good. Yep. All right, everyone. Well, thank you so much for joining. Um, if I think I answered all the questions that came in my story box yesterday, but, um, if there are any that I missed, I'll go back and triple check. I will answer them. Um, but it was so lovely to hang out with you, pack some orders, um, and I hope that you get some color on your nails soon, and yeah, I'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye everybody.